Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to open and close ports in your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, I would suggest first opening up Windows Firewall Settings. So if we open up the Start menu, type in Windows Firewall. One of the best managers should come back a Windows Defender Firewall or Windows Firewall. Just want to left click on that. I'm going to open up the classic control panel view that we see right before us right now. So the first thing you want to do if you want to go ahead and add or block ports, you want to go into advanced settings, so left click on that. Give it a second to uh, load up the advanced settings here. So the first thing would be if we were to create a new rule, we'd want to just left click on either inbound or outbound rules. So let's just say inbound rules here, so someone's coming from the internet. And wanted to go ahead and left click on new rule over on the right side. So first off, you want to select port from this list. So rule that controls connections for a TCP or UDP port. So you would have the ability to go ahead, once you click on next, you could define which specific ports. So you see there's different examples listed down here. I presume you already know what port you want to allow or block. So I just want to type that in. Example is 80. I might as well just type in 80 here. Feels like a good number. I'm going to left click on next. Now, if you wanted to allow the connection, you'll select the first one, the default to allow the connection. Includes connections that are protected with IPsec as well as those that are not. Or alternatively, you can select block the connection, which is the last option here. So pretty straightforward, really, whatever you're trying to do. So let's say we want to block the connection. And then I'm going to left click on next. You want to select all the different profiles available for the different types of connections we have here. So just left click on next to continue once you've agreed to this. It's a pretty standard procedure here, at least in my opinion. Name it whatever you want. So if you want to block a specific thing or a specific program, you can just call it blocking or allowing whatever. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to call it blocking whatever because, you know, whatever. And if you want to add a description, you can. If not, no problem. Left click on finish. And there you go, pretty straightforward. If you want to allow a new port or open a port, it's basically the same thing except that one step where I showed you guys you could either block or open a port. You just would select whatever one respectively you wanted to do. And the name in which you named it, you can see it's listed now in our inbound rules. So blocking whatever is our new rule name. See the little red circle with a line going through? That means it's blocked or it's supposed to be blocking it. Double clicking on it. We'll give you some more information about it. If you ever want to go back in and allow the connection, you just switch it to allow. So pretty straightforward. I mean, not too much to it. And if you ever wanted to delete it, just right click on it. You can either disable the rule or go ahead and delete it. So pretty neat little feature. Do it be able to help you guys out. I would suggest restarting your computer and then hopefully you guys were able to achieve what you were looking for. So do it was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.